This is a test using Young Industries Transflow Cone for handling iron oxide powder. The company using this powder in their process is having issues getting the powder to reliably discharge from hoppers. The iron oxide powder has a bulk density of 115 pounds per cubic foot with poor flow properties. When this powder was loaded into our 60 degree test cone, it immediately bridged and would not flow. For the test, we used our 8 inch diameter hopper with a 60 degree transflow cone. The cone has a discharge of 1 and 3 8 inches diameter. To demonstrate the low volume of air required to fluidize and condition this product, we used a small hand pump to generate the compressed air needed for the transflow cone. We loaded the iron oxide powder into the hopper, opened the discharge gate, and as expected, the powder bridged immediately. We introduced air to the transflow cone and powder quickly and easily discharged. The low volume, low pressure air was enough to condition this product to flow nicely and there was very little residual material left in the cone. The transflow media fluidizes and conditions products such as iron oxide powder. The low volume of compressed gas that permeates through the transflow media changes the cohesive properties of the fine particles. An added benefit of the transflow media is a layer of gas positioned between the powder and cone which reduces the coefficient of friction, making it much easier for the powder to slide down the cone surface. The combination of fluidization and reduced friction in the cone is referred to as powder conditioning. Transflow fluidization and conditioning solve the flow problems with iron oxide powder. Young Industries is happy to test powders using our transflow fluidization to demonstrate how we can solve most flow problems. Advanced technology and proven design, consider Young Industries for your powder handling applications.